lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we're going to make this beautiful resin art the natural looking seashore with the beautiful mountain view makes it look absolutely fabulous and it looks so natural that it is difficult to differentiate between reality and this art so friends do watch the complete video to make it yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notification for each video I post every week. All the materials needed are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them. They are also shown in the video. So let's quickly check out all the materials now friends. To make this resin art. First of all, you're going to need the Ocean Resin Kit which includes Expo Resin and Expo Resin Pigments. In Expo Resin, you get the Part A which is Clear Resin and Part B which is Hardener which you have to mix in 3 to 1 ratio by weight and you also get 6 Expo Resin Art Pigments which are Ultramine Blue, Translucent Blue, Neil Blue, Aquamarine, White and sandstone. All these six colored pigments will be enough to make any type of ocean resin art. Other than that, for priming my base, I'm going to use a camel texture white and few acrylic colors for coloring the base. So here we have ultramine blue, black, brown, bronze, teal blue and light blue color. And for making the mountain structure, I'm going to use a fevicryl molded which is a air dry clay and completely non-toxic. And for measuring the resin, we're going to use electronic compass scale. And for mixing the resin, we're going to use a few paper cups and ice cream sticks. For coloring and carving part, we are going to use a palette knife and few paint brushes. And finally, to hang our art piece on wall safely, we are going to need multi-purpose hanger which looks like this. For base, we are going to use a round cut 12 into 12 inch MDF board of 5 mm thickness. You will find a list of all these materials with their links in the description box below from where you can buy them online. So let's start the video now friends. First of all, I'm going to use Camel Texture White for priming my base and using a flat hair brush, I'll take just a little bit of Texture White, mix it with some water and apply it all over the base to make it secure. So using my brush, I'll directly take a little bit of mix some water while using this paste as it is quite thick and then apply it all around your base. Now finally, after priming, this is how our base should look. So I will let it get dry for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And when it is completely dry, we can start our next step. Now after 20 minutes, our base is completely dry and smooth. So it is ready for our next step, which is coloring. For coloring, I'm going to use teal blue, light blue and ultramine blue. So this is a metallic paint. You can use metallic for all the three if you have them. First of all, I'm going to start by using teal blue color. So using a flat hair brush, I'm going to take just a little bit of teal blue and start coloring it from the side. After teal blue, I'm going to use a light blue. I'll gently mix it with teal blue by dragging it in this way. And now finally, I'm going to use the ultramine blue color. If there is any excess paint in your paintbrush, you can also cover the sides with the same colors. Gently mix it with the light blue. Now this is how our base looks after we have done coloring. So now I will let it get dry for at least half an hour and then we can start mixing resin. Let's start preparing for the first layer and for the first layer we are going to use Expo Art Resin. So here we have a part A which is a resin and this is part B which is a hardener. For the Expo brand you have to mix 3 parts of part A and 1 part of part B as the ratio is 3 to 1 and we have to do it according to weight. So we are going to need a electronic compass scale. And the first layer is going to be the layer of sand. So I'm going to use the natural sand. So we're going to pour a 90 grams of clear resin which is part A. Here we got it. 
So here we have 90 grams of clear resin. Just divide it by 3 and you get 30. So now I'm going to add 30 grams of hardener in the same cup. Which should in all be 120. So here we have finally got 120 grams. So using an ice cream stick, I'll give it a very nice mix till both the resin and hardener get mixed up properly and we get just one medium to pour. After 30 minutes, the coloring part is dry completely and this is how beautiful our base looks. It is absolutely ready to pour some resin. So now friends, let's start mixing the resin. For the first layer, I'm going to use just 10 grams of resin in my cup and I'm going to mix a natural sand. This is natural sea sand in this resin in this way. Try to mix equal quantity of a resin with equal quantity of sand. We want a very thick proportion. So now this is the perfect consistency I have got that I can directly place it on our base. Now using an ice cream stick, I'll start placing this sand. After 24 hours, the first layer, which is the sand, has got dried up completely. So let's start preparing and pouring the second layer. Now I have finally completed mixing my resin and this is how it looks. This resin has an auto bubble release formula. So finally all the bubbles will come at the top in the end. Now friends, we are going to use four different shades. The first one is translucent blue. The second is ultramine blue. Third is Nile Blue and the fourth is Aquamarine. So according to these colors, I'm going to divide this resin in different cups. I'm going to need just a little of the translucent blue, a lot of ultramine blue, more of Nile Blue. So here we have divided the resin in four different cups. So let's start mixing the pigments. First, I'm going to add the aquamarine color. It is a very, very beautiful color. Just a little would be enough for this. Next is the Nile blue. As I'm using this colors after so many days, that's the reason I'm just giving it a good mix before I take out some color. You just need a very, very little amount of color. Next is ultramine blue. Each time you just need only this much amount. Finally, the translucent blue. Now give a very nice mix to the resin and the pigments. It is very very important that your pigments mix completely in resin so that you don't get any extra lump or any left away color. And if your pigments are not mixed completely in the resin, it can also give you patches. So this part is really important. Now all the four colors are ready and mixed up very well. So let's place the base right on place. Now first of all, let's start by pouring aquamarine color. I'm going to place it right on the bead side. Next, I'm going to pour the navy blue. I will keep a little bit remaining in my cup. And using the same ice cream stick, I'm going to do the same, just spread it all around the base. Next, I'm going to add is that translucent blue. Just add the lighter color right in the spot. So we got it right. Just using the ice cream stick to spread the colors around. Finally, I'm going to pour the complete translucent blue right in the center. So now we have got it completely. First of all, mix it with the light blue, with the Nile blue. Just give it that space. Now friends, using the same ice cream stick, start mixing these two colors. Always use the lighter color ice cream stick to mix with the dark color. Make sure when you're starting the resin part, you're wearing hand gloves and face mask for your own protection. Okay, so this part is very nicely mixed. Next, I'm going to use the Neil Blue color stick to mix 
these two shades. We need more night blue right here. So pour out everything on the cup. Let me give a final, final mixing. Finally, we're going to mix these two colors. Now this is how it looks when we have mixed a resin partially. So let's mix it and blend it completely by using a torch. This will also blow out the bubbles which are on the top. First of all, we'll just heat up the complete resin and blow out the extra bubbles. So after heating it, you can easily observe the colors start mixing up. So you can either use a blow dryer or just this kind of straw and blow few colors on each other from far. I'm going to use my finger and blend in few colors. I think the blending looks quite beautiful. I'll just give a final torch finishing so that any excess bubbles get blown away. And now friends, finally we will let it get dry for 24 hours and then we are ready to do our third layer. Now after 24 hours, the resin is cured completely and this is how beautiful the C coloring part we have got. I just love the shading we have done. There is just one thing that went wrong is the beach part. The resin has completely got over the sand. So we are going to do this part once again and I'm going to place a few mountains and stones on this. Now for our third layer of resin pour, I'm going to mix a ratio 60-20. Uh, so I'm going to add 60 grams of clear resin in my glass first. Okay, so here we have got 60. And now I'm going to add 20 grams of part B, which is hardener. So it will make 80. So here we have got completely 80 grams. Now using the same ice cream stick, give it a very nice mix till you get one consistency, only one mix. Now I have finally completed mixing my resin and this is how it looks. It flows absolutely good. So now I'm going to divide it in my second cup. I'm going to add just a little bit of resin for white. That much is enough. And then I'm going to use epoxy ultra white resin pigment. Just a little bit is enough. When you're using any pigment friends, it's very very important that your pigment is very well mixed with the resin. So take your time and give it a very very nice mix. Okay, so now this is ready. Let's start pouring the clear resin on the base. Add only the amount you're going to work with. So using your ice cream stick, spread the resin all across. You have to be sure that you have just perfect amount of resin all over your base. And then I'm going to add white resin. And then I'm going to easily blow it towards the depth using just a straw. After the first layer of waves, let's start adding the second layer of white okay it looks very good now again gently using the straw just spread out the white after using the dryer i'm going to use the straw So now friends, we have got all the beautiful waves. I'm going to do my final blow torch using the torch and then we'll let it get dry for at least 24 hours. Now after 24 hours, the resin has got cured completely and this is how beautiful, beautiful and glossy our resin beach shore looks. I absolutely love the waves we have created. So now it's time to do the final part which is the beach part. I'm going to make few mountains and a rocky shore so that it will uplift this painting and that will be the complete look. 
of this piece so let's start first of all we'll start by making a rocks and i'm going to make the rock structure by using molded air dry clay in that you get a resin and hardener which you have to cut in equal proportion so using a palette knife i'll just cut them in equal parts here we have it then use some talcum powder in your fingers and give it a very nice mix till you get just one color of clay i'm going to mix it in this way and here you can see i have already placed some clay and this is how we are going to do the complete part so let's mix the clay first now the clay is mixed and this is how it looks so i'm going to divide it into small chunk of balls in this way and place it accordingly and then i want to use one of my palette knife and gently carve this kind of lines on the clay so this lines actually give a natural look of rock So in the same way, I'm going to lay more clay pieces and use my palette knife to make them look like rock and then we can start doing our coloring part. Now I have finally completed making the mountains and rocks using the clay and this is how it looks from the side view. It absolutely looks like a realistic structure and I have also made an anti-gravity pool. You will find this kind of hills, mountains and beaches along with this special bridge in the Andaban and Nicobar Island when you visit Andaban Nicobar Island and this is how the view looks let me show you from the front view this is how it looks so now friends let's start placing some sand and coloring the mountains using acrylic color now for the mountains first of all I'm going to use a brunt umber color and a flat hair brush using a flat hair brush I'm going to dab 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 the complete color on the top of the mountain in this way. If you find any work spitting outside, just clean it right there itself. Because this time we won't be wasting much time on the cleanup. For the deeper parts, I'm directly using the color and just dabbing it. To get the complete color inside in this way and then I'll just take a little bit of water in the same paint brush and try to spread out the remaining color on the top so this is how you easily receive a lighter shade on the top after doing the brown and the light brown use a little bit of bronze in your fingers and then just tap 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 on the upper surface in this way this will just create a highlight but a more natural effect to the mountains for this I'm just going to use my finger that would be the best if you want to do the tops more lighter take a little bit of lighter shade and use a lot of water in your brush so that will add a very light light effect just play it around on few parts and you'll clearly see a very beautiful natural look to this mountains to make the seashores look much more realistic I have added black just below of the mountains because when the waves crash again and again on mountains it deposits algae which with time discovers a black color when they degrade there are many reasons but this really makes it look more and more natural so now friends we have finally completed the coloring part we'll let it get dry now now friends i have finally completed doing all the detailing parts and this is how beautiful our sea landscape resin art looks you can clearly see how beautifully i have done the detailing parts and the mountains look absolutely realistic this is definitely going to be one of my favorite resin art pieces as you can see it's so perfect from all the angles and the view is 
so natural looking so friends this is the final view of our beautiful resin art we did this time do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this video friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching